Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So with this series, I'm going to start Java streaming coding interview questions because a lot of people were asking this question that can you please prepare some videos on what are the different questions people ask you at a time of interview with respect to Java streams. So Java streams, we know that it got added in JDK 1.8. I have already prepared a lot of videos on JDK 1.8. I'll share the the link also in the description of this video and the first comment of this video as well. But what are different typical interview questions with respect to Java? Okay, so we will cover around seven to eight different uh, videos on this. So that is the first video. You have to find out some of the numbers. Let's see, for example, there is a list of integer is available. So I'm going to create one a list of integer here. And let's see this my list is equal to this which is equal to I'm going to create one list as list over here. You can create a typical array list also. I'm directly creating like this. For example, let's see, we have some number one, then four, then five, six, then again, 22, then something, then 90, then 89, then let's see, two, then one, three, four, five, 55, six, something like this. Let's see that we have written. And then you just import from java.util, okay? So you have to find out the sum of all the numbers. So how can you do that? So it's very simple. So I would advise you to use a quickly list a dot a stream. You can use it so you can apply list dot it stream. The stream is a method which is already available in JDK 1.8, which will be applied on the stream. And what you just do is that you simply write a method which is called a reduce method and reduce says that what you give me one binary operator in terms of or see reduce is having actually overloaded you can see that this is reduce and this is also reduce so what you can do you can here pass a lambda which will give you another uh, stream that also you can use it and then you can use this also which will give you one optional integer also which will also will give you another stream here so what exactly i'm going to use that i'll do one thing i'll put create two random variables let's see a comma b you can use any of them it really doesn't matter you are using a and b you put a lambda over here and supply to what you supply to do for a plus b operation here like this and that's it and then this reduce method will give you what it will give you one optional integer here so what you can do is you can simply store inside the optional integer in a bracket as a, a generic over here and let's say this is some variable that you can create and this optional you have to import from java.util and then after that you simply write system dot out print ln if you really want to print so the sum of i'll write the sum of uh, numbers and then you want to do you simply print the sum dot get over here you just need to print it so let's see if it is working or not so i'm just going to run as a java application and uh, you can see the sum of all these numbers are 291 of all these numbers okay that you can calculate manually later on so let's see for example let's see i just want to get the sum of some small numbers one four five six so four plus one five five plus five ten ten plus six equal to a uh, 16 it should print so let's see see sum of numbers are 16 like that so you can have duplicate numbers also let's say 16 plus 1 17 plus 4 uh, 21 it should be printed so in this case it should give you 21 over here so this is a very quick a solution that you can use it you can simply write stream dot reduce and then that's it then you are good to go so this is the first video guys likewise i'm going to prepare some very small small videos three to four minutes of videos and then i'll share my entire git repository also with you guys please practice it's very straightforward very simple and then i'll share my java 8 videos also please go through what do you mean by streams what do you mean by jdk 8 different features are available it will help you a lot to understand jdk 1.8 features Thank you so much. Thanks for watching Naveen Automation Labs. Please subscribe to the channel and share these videos with others who are looking for interview preparation and some important questions on Java. Thank you so much, guys.